What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another SQL interview question for data analysts, data scientists, data engineers and anything in between. This time we have a question from Starbucks and I don't know about you but I love my Starbucks. I just went to a Starbucks reserve in Prague, Czech Republic which had secret menu items or special menu items. It was absolutely amazing. Love it. I almost moved to an apartment that was just across the street from Starbucks and I'm sure I would have been financially ruined if I actually moved there. But that didn't end up happening. Anyways, let's get back into the problem statement. This one's called three lowest distinct salaries and the task is pretty simple. It says you have been asked to find the three lowest distinct salaries. For example, if two people earn the same amount of money, they are counted as one. Let's just take a look at the input data we have by pressing preview here. We have a worker ID, first name, last name, the salary, the joining date and which department they are in. For the expected output, we only care about the salary though, so it's only one field, one column, and it should be the three lowest seen salaries. If two people earn the same amount of money, they are counted as one. Interesting, so we don't care about the people per se, we just care about the salary and the three lowest ones. So for our solution, let's just get started by selecting salary from this table called worker and let's order that by salary in descending order. Actually ascending order because we want the lowest one to be on top. To check back to the expected output, these are actually the ones we want. We do have 75k in there twice. How do we get rid of that? Quite easily we just change that to distinct salary. It even mentions find the three lowest distinct salaries. That's going to give us the list of distinct salaries, which is exactly what we want. And if we just limit that output to three columns, uh, three rows, we already have our accepted solution. So looking at this question, I initially thought I would be creating a rank function, find the three lowest salaries. And since we have that note in terms of if two people earn the same amount of money, they are counted as one. And that kind of reminded me of ties and then just using a different rank function. But in this case, it's much more simple. You can just get the salary and make it distinct and that's it. Because we don't have to supply any information about the name or anything. It's that much easier and that can be tricky. So I really like this question. I gave it a like because it kind of makes you notice that and I haven't really noticed that in all of the problems I went through like 500 or, or something. So this one's quite interesting, but simple enough. Anyways, that's been it for that problem already. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like and share this video with a friend. If you want to practice together, it always helps out the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.